Hello, everyone, and welcome to a moderately large edition of AEW Dark. I'm Excalibur, as always, joined by the human suplex machine, Taz. And Taz, we're back here in Jacksonville. I wore my Jaguars colored mask. You wore your UT colored uh, hat. You know, yeah, 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 we're ready to go. Yes, we are ready to go. That's what we do. We're sports oriented. That's our thing. It's going to be a great episode of Dark Excalibur. I promise you, Dark 101, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and that's right. By UT, of course, I meant University of Taz. <laughs> but let's not waste any more time and throw it down to our colleague, Justin Roberts, standing by inside the ring. This is a tag team contest at Ford Fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Marco Stunt at a combined weight of 432 pounds, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, Jurassic Express. Jurassic Express. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry about that. Oh, that's quite all right, Dad. I don't know for a second. I can't help it. it just I was gonna say, Jurassic Express in a very unique position for Jungle Boy sitting atop the men's singles rankings in the number one spot, and then Jurassic Express Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy ranked number four in the tag team division. Jungle life, you're running around the forest, jumping on trees, washing in the lake. You're running around. Their opponents, D3 and Rising. Keep going, Tess. Keep going. The Freeze never been in no uh, forest over there in Italy. They do have forests in Italy, though. No, no, not Rome. It's all forest, it's all cement. They have the lake of fire over there. Oh, 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 I guess so, that's one way to put it. Make me sound soft. The song of my heart. What am I, Bing Crosby in 42? Google it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Top first lock applied by D3. Back in Jungle Boy down, great pull through. On the bridge as Jungle Boy controls the wrist of D3. Yeah, good roll for himself there, D3, and then tip it up. Good hand fighting there, but Jungle Boy maintained He's got the, the both hands on the wrist of D3. Important to keep that grip. And now Jungle Boy trying those legs in. That's that would have been good, but he could. He still got the takedown though. D3 fighting for position. It's the crucifix. Jungle Boy turns the tables. Two and sweep of the leg by Jungle Boy. Lateral press. D3. I think D3 was thinking tag. Yeah. Jungle Ooh. Boy had other things in mind. Got tagged in the face with that drop kick. I'll tell you that. And Taz, a victory over Jungle Boy in this matchup for, for D3 and Ryzen. You know, as I mentioned, Jurassic Express ranked number four, but I mean, also with Jungle Boy sitting at the top of the rankings, that would that would be a real game changer. That'd be something. That huh? jeez, could you imagine? That uh, they have a little problem here, the team of Ryzen and D3. And then uh, Rising got caught with an arm drag right, right after the argument with D3. Ah, Rising grabbing a handful of hair on Jungle Boy. And lays in a big right hand. Irish whip into the ropes. Rising elevates up and over. Arm drag, and he hangs onto it, but Jungle Boy immediately springs Whoa. up in an arm drag of his own. Nice. Great counter by Jungle Boy. Yeah, he's got quick hands, those Jungle Boy. Now the big dinosaurs coming in here. Luchasaurus tags in and tags Ryzen with a chop. A massive chop. Never have uh, you know witnessed a dinosaur wear that type of wrestling gear. Like really uh, kind of sophisticated and high end. Uh, is it the uh, is it the tassels on the, the calves? Well, it could be that he's actually wearing pants. Most dinosaurs don't wear pants. You know a lot of dinosaurs? No. Well, I, I know some wrestlers my age that be considered dinosaurs. What the hell? Wait a minute. Oof! <laughs> you said it, not me, man. <laughs> Tag out to Jungle Boy by Luchasaurus. D3 sent into the ropes, launched up, and Jungle Boy uh -oh. drops step into a beautiful deadlift German with a nice bridge, but rising there to break it up. Luchasaurus chasing Ryzen. 
out on the floor. Yeah, you don't want to deal with uh, Luchasaurus, that's for sure. Ryzen through the clothesline. Oh, oh, wow. Top of the head. The top of the head, now driven into the canvas by Jungle Boy. Jurassic Express. D3 is uh, Dunsky. Getting set up for the Thoracic oh. Express. One, two, three. No, oh, what is this match? Jurassic Express. Bah. different octaves I can do this, my friend. Jungle Life! Galaxy's greatest alien, Chris Statlander, in action, and she'll have freshly squeezed Orange Cassie in her corner. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy from the Andromeda Galaxy, Chris Statlander. Taz, Justin Roberts, very excited to introduce Chris Statlander, and understandably so. Yes, and he almost just got attacked by her. But I think she likes oh. Justin. So that's like Big the, and boop. It's the Beep Boop Jones, right? Beep Boop Jones. All right. Chris yeah. Statlander. There's Orange Cassie on the outside. People didn't know who he was. You got an idea. opponent from Queens, New York, Layla Gray. Layla Gray set to take on Chris Statlander. Layla still searching for her first victory here in AEW. It'll be tough here to get a victory over Statlander, but we'll see if Layla can get it done. Yeah, Statlander ranked number wow. four. Well, that, I'll tell you what, that price, he's got some schnauzer on him, too, so she got to be careful when she touches that nose. She can get, a, she get an index finger lost up there. I mean, I like Bryce. Look at him around, but he's got some kind of... a lot, actually. You fill his nose with nickels, you'll be a millionaire. I wouldn't say that in part of man. Maybe I'm <laughs> self-conscious about that. <laughs> that was a nice side headlock takedown right there, by the way. Certainly Not like was. Bryce is my friend. I want to remind everyone that next week, AEW makes our return to Pittsburgh for two historic events. First, Wednesday night for AEW Dynamite, and then Friday. August 13th for the debut of AEW Rampage. Tickets for both events at the Peterson Event Center on sale right now, AEWTIX.com. Small correction is called Britsburg, baby. Britsburg. Nice switch right there by Layla Gray, I should say, and with that go behind, and Statlander trying to get break that grip of Gray. Oh, yeah, a little bit of hand fighting there by Statlander, and does separate the grip of Layla Gray, takes her down. She used the humidity to her advantage there. You know what that arm drag is called? Tell me. It's called the fat man's roll. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! It's true, bro. That's an old uh, wrestling move. Uh, not pro wrestling, amateur wrestling. So fat man Jones roll. 
And she has the, uh, she had the hammer lock applied on Layla Gray. That's a regular arm drag. Whoa, oh. another arm drag. High velocity that time. People don't realize how bad arm drags feel when you take them. You guys both understand that. You've yeah. been arm drag. They suck. Especially from somebody as powerful yeah. as Chris Statlander. Yeah, you're right. Oh! oh. Ho, ho, ho. Damn! Clothesline backbreaker combo by Statlander. That's some Martian stuff right there. You know, her eye is messed up. You Who's eye? That? Layla? Statlander's eye oh, is Statlander? messed up. It's. What weird. does she have, Ricky? It's discolored. She has cataracts. Oh, I thought you were going to say astigmatism. No. Maybe. You're not an I ophthalmologist. You don't know. Yeah, well, well, how would I? My eyes are shaped like a football for sure. Armchair ophthalmologist. <laughs> Football. That's a stigma team. Layla Gray putting the pressure on Chris Statlander in the corner. Boot was right in the jaw and throat area of Statlander. And oh, she oh wow. A lot of green. A little boot mop. Boot mop. Boot, uh -oh. boot mop. Boot Statlander. Boot mop. Hung oh. oh! Blue Thunder bomb to. No, Layla able to kick out. Boot mop. That was, that was a lot of power there. Big time. That green thunder bomb she gave her. Sad. I got you like Strong, that. man. Stat oh, look at this uh -oh. now. Maybe uh -oh. an electric chair here, possibly. We've seen Statlander oh, do no. this. She likes to sit her opponent out oh. of the face buster, driving them into the canvas. And now, deadlift German suplex. Good Le job right there by Statlander. Layla Gray folded on her head. And Statlander, this could be the beginning of the end. She's got it hooked in. Big Bang Theory, baby. Big Bang Theory. The cover. And the win. The oh, winner of this match, Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander, number four ranked, continues. Her winning ways remains undefeated since her return from injury. And you have to imagine she will have her eyes on Ritzburg this week, Ricky. Yes, I'm tagged, but she definitely will. You're right. Now you see the big bad fury right there. I'm sorry to cut you off there, buddy. Broadcast. Slow your blow. Slow your blow, bro. You gotta be quick. Broadcast quick, quick. Professional you gotta Ricky stay Starks. on it, baby. Yeah, exactly. Real, not realizing that this is an audio medium, not <laughs> in his head. At the victory of the galaxy's greatest alien, Chris Statlander. On Wednesday, August 18th, don't miss this historic night as all your favorite AEW stars will ignite your passion for professional wrestling again as AEW Dynamite and Major Fertitta Center. Here we go! Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Miro, and Dr. Britt Baker, plus Chris Jericho, Houston's own Sammy Guevara and the Inner Circle, Cody Rhodes, Darby Allin, Stig, and more headline what promises to be another epic AEW live event. Will you be there live when AEW Dynamite debuts in Houston, Texas at the Fertitta Center? Tickets are on sale now and start at $30. We got tag team action coming up right now on Dark, featuring the world famous, the one and only's, the Lucha Bros. The Devils! This is the tag team bounce for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Alex Abra Hantes from Mexico City, Mexico. At a combined weight of 383 pounds. Fenix, Penta, El Cero, Mero, the Lucha Brothers. Taz, the Lucha Brothers, for a variety of reasons, injury and uh, other, other things going on in the world, have not really been a consistent tag team here in AEW for much of the year. But since Ray Phoenix has returned from the IR, the Lucha Brothers have been on a roll. Yeah, you know, it's that blood, it's that blood brothers, it's just that, that cohesiveness. We talk, talk about that pop of teams, and they got it. They're a fucking team of Jake St. Patrick and St. Scott. Jake St. Patrick and St. Scott have a chance to pull off an upset victory, but they're gonna have their work cut out for them. Before this match gets underway, I want to remind everyone that next week, AEW makes our return to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or Britsburg, as it is sometimes known, <laughs> Wednesday for Dynamite at the Peterson Event Center, and then two nights later, Friday, for the historic debut of AEW Rampage. Tickets for both events on sale right now, AEWTIX.com. Combo packages available as 
Penta. Well, you mentioned, uh, you know, that we're going to be going to the great city of Pittsburgh. And both both these teams, they're wearing black and gold. Both these two men here, the colors of Pittsburgh, more, more of black and athletic gold. You know, the Pirates and the Steelers and, you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know what you're saying. And the uh, Peng uh, the Penguins, too. Right? I was like, oh, oh Penta just what? caught Sage Scott with a kick to the face. And now, shot to the midsection by Phoenix, kick to the face. Penta. Heads to the ropes, Kaza, whoa, 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 whoa. Lucha oh, Brothers man. going to work on Sage Scott. Covered by Ray Phoenix. Two. Scott able to kick out. But the Lucha Bros so dangerous that high speed, high impact offense can hit you from just about every angle. Yeah, and that's their, that's their whole look. See that to your whoa. point. The Phoenix, so quick. Phoenix, great anticipation, wow. blocking the right hand. The overhand chop to Jake St. Patrick. Oh, the kick to the back by Sage Scott, and the leg lariat by St. Patrick. Some shot there. Covers. Phoenix able to kick out, though. Tough to beat Phoenix, though. He's triple tough, as is his brother Penta. And we also have to keep in mind the presence of Andrade El Idolo, trying to undermine the relationship of Death Triangle, saying that Ray Phoenix and Penta, they work for Pac, but Phoenix and Penta making it clear that they are a united front. They are a group. There's no one leader. Cover here by Jake St. Patrick. Unlike Team Taft. Well, yes, that's uh, the, we uh, we have no problems anymore. Being that Brian Cage has hit the bricks. Thank God. I would say that Brian Cage, though, still has some problems with Team Taz. Uh, listen, we've moved on. Story for another time. Yeah, we, we tried to ruin a celebration. We saw what he did. He actually did ruin it. St. Patrick. That band cost me a lot of dough. I'm telling you that right yeah, now. Do you have to pay for that. Uh, that yeah, show? pay for everything. I got Tony Khan sending me bills now, everything. Oh, oh Ray Phoenix launches off the middle rope, drives the soul butt into the face of Jake St. Patrick. Well, yeah, St. Patrick's got to get his partner in this thing here. And he did, but Penta, Penta yeah. is tagged in. He's the legal man as well. High cross takes down both opponents. Swing and a miss by Sage Scott, who eats the sling blade. Sling blade for St. Patrick as well. Penta looking tremendous here as he's got Sage Scott all hooked up. Oh, boy. The diving foot stops the fear factor. And wow, oh. Phoenix tightrope walk, this middle rope, and Penta got the victory. Here are your winners, the Lucha Brothers. Taz, it's, this is going to sound like a stupid statement, but keep your eye on the Lucha Brothers. It feels like they are primed for big things here now that they're back and reunited. Oh, yeah, no argument for me at all. They really are just, just amazing every time you see them. Look at Alice. So fire them, too. Just, you know, that says, bro. Uh, look at that. Phoenix able to, to walk the tightrope. Keep Jake St. Patrick out of the ring and allowing Penta to score the pin. The Lucha Brothers are victorious in tag team action. Ladies, I'm really appreciative of you being here. But, you know, Swole, we want to find out, like, exactly what, what brought this to a head. Hey, yo, Swole, I said big Swole. Diamante. The issue that I'm having is that little Pew Pew over there couldn't keep my name out of her mouth. Joe! Oh, look at that, Diamante! The drop kick to the side of the head, Bunny! The and trunks. the trunks! And the win! She talked about me. She said I was a sidekick, all that jazz. And then on top of that, she had a nerve to mess with my money. Diamante and the blade conspiring to allow the bunny to score the victory over Big Swole. I was undefeated. I was on a winning streak. And here she come, little bunny foo foo, coming hopping down the ramp, messing up my match with Allie.
Big time grudge match here between Diamante and Big Swole. It has been brewing for a number of weeks. You know, I, honestly, I don't even know why we're here wasting Mark Henry's time. I beat you De already. Monte, why are we De doing Monte, this? Monte, you're going to get your chance to speak. The floor is in All right, go ahead. court right, All right now. Go so ahead. let her finish. And then when we finally do go head to head, what does she do? What does she do? She cheats. A cheater. Oh, Diamante oh. grabbed the rope! I cheated. Diamante is balls in your court. Let me tell you something. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, all right? Winning is winning. You said I took your money? How about you take it back then? Hey, look. Look, just handle it in the rain. J U L I A Julia Hart in action next here on AEW Dark. Set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Bloomington, Minnesota, Julia Hart. Taz, this is AEW Dark just celebrating 100 episodes, and there has been a lot of success stories to come out of Dark, but perhaps not more so than these three athletes, Marcy Blonde and Julia Hart. Absolutely, I agree. We'll get into that in a second. In about two seconds, I'll talk to you on that. Our opponent from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Angelica Risk. Angelica Risk returning to action here on Dark. No relation to Angelico, but I digress. So here's the thing. People are related by their first names, Ricky. Did you know that? Yeah, it's surprising to me. Well, it's, so, pro, it's pro wrestling. Hello, no anything's me. possible here. <laughs> anyway, yes, we were, about to, we were about to pat ourselves on the back. Yes, we were. Listen, Vosley Blondes, Julia Hart have been great here on Dark. We've watched the maturation of Griff Garrison and Pillman together, how they grew, and then bringing this young lady in with them, two-time national champion cheerleader. It's great. I, I'm a big fan of R.C. Blondes. R.C. Blondes ranked number oh. one. They have what appears to be a collision course with the number two ranked acclaim, but more on that later tonight. Right now, Julia Hart taking down an Helica Risk and with the side headlock. Yeah, good job on that side headlock. This young lady, Risk, uh, Ricky, I throw this to you. Is she wearing orange, or is that more of a tangerine? What do we got going on here? Uh, that's definitely orange, Taz, uh, uh, from my viewpoint. Taz has literally picked up his phone and is now speed dialing his attorney. Oh, yes. But let's let's hold off on that. Why? She's obviously willing to risk her career by wearing these colors, and I respect that. And her name is Risk, and that's a play on Damn words. it, yes! Yes! That's what I was saying. And you did it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, and that's what happens. Hey, no, twerking is a part of the Team Taz curriculum. You turn the oven on and no one's home. That's what happens. <laughs> well, Julia Hart saw the opening. She's going to take advantage, and young Miss Risk is in trouble. Oh. Kick across the back, sweep of the leg. Julia Hart has and Helica Risk down, but oh. spent too much time preparing for the moonsault press. Now you're right, Excal, but it was just a second of a delay by playing to the cameras or whatever she was doing in yeah. that quarter. Who's she pointing at? She was probably pointing towards you because you're the FTW World Champion. Don't point at me, Julia. I don't want it. I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Look at this. Now she is on fire, Miss oh, Hart. she's vicious. Boot to the midsection, Julia Hart. Sends Risk to the corner, charges. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, let's get her in Team Taz, huh? Now, I'll tell you what, that was nasty. You're right. Ooh, Julia Hart? Yeah. She brings the fire. J U L A. Oh, she's got, well, that's it. She could do like a whole chant. Oh! Rounding body press, Julia Hart. Oh, just the two count. Ooh. Good toughness by uh, Angelica Risk. Kicks me out of that. So I believe Ricky Starks just corrected the, the spelling of Julia Hart's name. The A is before the I, yes. except after E. <laughs> Somebody should let Julia know because it's on her gear. Love it. Ooh, Julia Hart teeing off on that helicopter. Yeah, definitely bringing it uh -oh. here. Oh. Oh. Drop toe hold by Risk. What? Yeah. There we go. She's a little area coach shot. 
called 815. Is that Albuquerque? Is that yeah, Albuquerque, that's Albuquerque New Mexico? I don't even think Albuquerque has an area code. That's long Come distance. They just have sure. like six numbers. Come on. Six numbers. <laughs> just six numbers. There's a zip code. Oh! oh. No, he went five Chicago. I don't know what she said. Anyway, Julia Hart back in control. She kicked her in the bread basket. Oh! oh. The flipping in the clothesline in the corner. I don't think uh, Julia's done. Oh. Running back elbow. Here we go. Oh. Julia's in control. What she got in mind here. Here we go. The bundle. Oh. And she split, split. out with yeah. it. The cover, the hook, the win for Julia. The winner of this match, Julia Hart. That was a battle. You don't know this put up a good fight, but I don't know. Taz. Yeah. 505, the area code in Albuquerque. We love our fans in New Mexico. Oh, yeah. And Julia Hart picking up the victory. And the crowd goes wild! All the lead wrestling is bringing not one, but two nights of action to the Peterson Event Center in Pittsburgh. It's AEW Dynamite and the debut of AEW's new show, Rampage. Kenny Omega, The Young Bucks, Miro, and Pittsburgh's own Dr. Britt Baker. Plus, Chris Jericho in the inner circle, Cody Rhodes, Darby Ellis, Stitt, and more headline two nights of AEW live events. Here we go! Will you be there live on Wednesday, August 11th and Friday, August 13th when AEW Dynamite and Rampage light up the Peterson Event Center? Don't miss out on the special two-event combo ticket packages. Check this out right now. We got Ethan Page going one on one versus Baron Black. That's coming at you right now. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, weighing 225 pounds. All ego, Ethan Page. One half of the men of the year, all ego, Ethan Page. This is my his... friend, this is my friend, by the way. This guy's my friend. Yes. Yes. Well, you I don't like have many you. friends. I know. So I, I, I like to be paid. So, I mean, that is a pretty noteworthy uh, noteworthy thing that uh, one half of the men of the year yeah. is your friend. What about Scorpio Sky? He's my friend also. Very good oh. friend of mine. A friend. And the guy to your right is a really good friend of mine. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 210 pounds, Barry Black. Well, the guy to my right, of course, is none other than the other half of Knife Club, the host of the pro wrestling's favorite show within a show, AEW Starks, absolute Ricky Starks. He's also the FTW World Champion. The FTW Excalibur. Champion. A little damn Thank respect. you. La, 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 la. Love yeah, you. I know it wasn't like what he was that. I know he wasn't like the champion in some bingo hall in Los Angeles on a Sunday afternoon. But you know what? He is the FTW champ. I thought it was a theater. It is. Think. It's actually a historic theater. It's really nice. <laughs> but I digress, Taz. Or you digress, actually. I'll We've digress. got Baron Black going one on one with all ego Ethan Page. Page boots in the midsection to start things off. I like it, right? No wasting time. Just get right after Baron Black. So let's see what Ethan Page has got in mind. We know how tough Baron Black is. We've seen him. But a few times here on AEW oh, nice, Dark, nice. and he's gonna roll up Ethan Page. Page almost got caught by surprise. Ricky, that would never happen to you. That would never happen to me. Listen, Ethan borrows from me with the style and grace that I have given him, but we need to work on the proudness of Baron Black and making sure that he isn't getting taken off his feet. Oh, oh, oh slide. See. Spoke too soon. Not really a back slide, a back roll by Baron Black. Page getting a little, uh, little frustration yeah, on his face. He's a little face. angry. He's a little angry, but he's keeping his cool for the most part. I think it's okay. It's all right. People can get angry. Close line avoided. Manhattan drop. Baron Black. Oh, Shot. what the hell? Takes Ethan Page off of his feet. Yeah, Baron. Uh, Baron taking his time with these attacks too. I think he should stay on Ethan. Look at this. Oh, what, you, what is this? Ethan's. Deep in between his legs. This is Ethan. What is this? That's First. the Achilles heels crotch Jones, they call it. <laughs> uh, this is oh Ethan Page's God. first return to action since that coffin match with Darby Allen on Dynamite a few weeks ago, and perhaps he's still trying to work his way back into ring condition. Well, that is a uh, low body. His legs were all locked up. Baron Black had him locked up pretty good there. Get a Charlie horse. Mm. Boot, boot up, though, by Ethan Page. Nothing fancy, nothing technical about that. Ethan Page able to sidestep Baron. Uh -oh. Sends him down, big oh. time shoulder tackle. Look at that. Great momentum. Great momentum just trucking Baron Black. Ethan Page 
ratcheting up the aggression. You go back pretty decently uh, with Ethan Page, correct, Ricky Stokes? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I've known him for five years now. All right. A great guy. I told you, he's my friend also. But why? How did y'all become friends? Here in AE Dub, where oh. everyone's friends. <laughs> That's Yo, be the moniker, bro. Give That's me some good. nuts That's on that one. Like that. <laughs> uh, Love that. <laughs> For more reasons than one. For the record, they actually did fist bump right in front of my face. <laughs> Boots to the midsection by Ethan Page as he is stomping Baron down in the corner. Paul Turner. Pull, the, pull those braids off, Baron. You need to let those go, my man. Those braids are out of date. Back in Cool in the Gang was around. You cool know in the Gang? <laughs> oh, man, that's old school. Jeez. Yeah, I go way back like a wave cap, huh? Cool in the Gang. Ethan Page hammering the spine of Baron Black, trying to get him up for oh. the ego's edge. Instead, Baron escapes out, ducks the clothesline. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Atomic drop, backstabber. Baron Black has a chance to upset Ethan Page here tonight on Dark. Ethan Page using those powerful legs to drive Baron back to the corner. Well, he knew he knew that uh, Baron Black had a, submi oh. a submission in mind, so he shut it down, did Ethan? He's got the arms crossed. Oh. Wow. Almost like an iconoclasm. Brought him down, maintained wrist control. Now gets Baron up on the shoulders. Oh, Ethan Page sets oh. him for a right with the ego's edge. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two and three. Match. Oh, Ego, Ethan, hey. Well, we had an amazing camera shot right there. Great job by our director, Timmy. The camera work was great. You could see, not that angle. Of course, I broke the camera from a different angle. But you could see how we how Baron Black oh. landed right on the back of his head at the end of this match. Up here. This is the angle right here, I believe. Watch the landing here, ladies and gentlemen, of the head, the head, the brain full of head. Damn, right on the head. Good mind. Ooh. Good kiss to the camera there. Yeah. All ego. Ethan Page returns to victory here tonight on AEW Starks. Representing the factory, Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado collide with Billy and Colton Gunn next here on Dark. This is a tag team matchup set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by QT Marshall. At a combined weight of 475 pounds, the team of Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado. Taz, yes. Team Taz yes. had a very heated rivalry with the Nightmare family, but I think that pales in comparison to the rivalry between the family and the factory. Oh, you might be right about that. Just you definitely might be right about that, Excalibur. You definitely might be right. There's definitely been a heated thing between the man to your right and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Also, obviously, that's what stemmed that off. QT, welcome to the booth. The pleasure is all yours, guys. Taz, how are you? Hey, QT Marshall, my man. From Orlando, Florida. At a combined weight of 486 pounds, Colton and Billy. Good. Gun Club set to do battle with Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado of the factory. So QT, what's going on, my friend? I know there's a lot going on. We've talked privately. I know we've been trying to do some business, but we're not gonna right now. Uh, by the way, I love the new uh, diamond studded Rolex that I suggested you buy, and you went and got it. Great Beautiful, job. right? Yeah, it looks Beautiful. great. It looks great on you, really. Have you ever seen a guy the size of Nick Camarado? Why are you holding the microphone, bro? It's not 1973. What are you doing, bro? Taz, I'm not a professional commentator. It's the <laughs> you one don't have thing... to hold the mic, bro. Well, it's a this little is... close to my mouth. I thought you just see you holding the mic. It's a... Yeah, it's a little close to my mouth. Yours this... is a little far away. Mine's real close. Look, my voice projects. I'm a professional broadcaster, bro. Broadcast you know I mean? journalist. That's right. Yeah. You know the deal. <laughs> Speaking of broadcasters, QT, got to ask you, what happened with uh, Tony Schiavone last Wednesday on Dynamite? You just set out to embarrass this man? It's caliber. Uh, that's between Tony Schiavone and myself. I think you should have gave him a wedgie, to be honest with you. Taz, that's a little immature. But I wouldn't put it past Solo to do it. Oh, definitely Solo. I know he does that to people a lot. He gives them wedgies. Line tag here by Billy Gunn coming in. Hammering on the arm of Aaron Solo. 
And quick tags in and out by Gun Club. Good unity with those guys, huh? It certainly mm -hmm. is. Them. Yes. Just like they're a family. That's, yeah, well, not that's a factory, though. Not a factory. A family's yeah. different, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they usually hate each other. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, I understand the father and son dynamic, unfortunately, believe me. But, yeah, I get it loud and clear. Look at that shoulder block by Colton. Good job right there, buddy, young man. Come on, Solo, get up. Short tackle by Colton Gunn. Solo, leapfrog over, and nice side headlock takeover. Yeah, but he's not putting his shoulders to the ground. The headlock takeover is a pin. It is a pin. It is a pin. And it's a great way from there, as you know, you get a key lock on the arm, like a top wrist lock. You definitely could pin a man while you have his arm barred. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> Solo back and Colton Gunn up to the corner. Is that Aubrey Edwards, the referee? She gets, on oh. she gets on my nerves a little bit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan, but. What? Hey, get it. They need to break out of the corner right now. Well, so, well, because so, it's not fair for Solo. I yeah, get the point. Yeah, 100%. I totally get you. Not sure we're watching the same match. Colton Gunn sending Solo into the corner. Shot to the midsection. Put to the side of the head by Billy, who is the legal man. Colton Gunn coming in. Big diving clothesline. Oh, well, watch out. Billy's legal here. Cover. Ooh, wow, Solo kicking out at one. Billy got a little pep in his step today, huh? It looks great. He sure does. I yeah. mean, for 76 years old, he looks great. He looks great, but not like Camarado great. No, no, Camarado. By the way, I want to ask you on that uh, QT Marshall. How do you deal with him? Like, how do you communicate? It's very tough to have a conversation, even though he is intelligent, but he's a different type of cat, Camarado. Most people don't really try to talk to him much. They're afraid of him. How do you communicate with him? I let Solo do it. Nice. Well done. Delegate. Text, too, is a good way, I guess. Yeah, except he's got green bubbles. Oh, I hate that's heat with me, bro. Yeah. Spend the money and get the uh, gimmick phone. You know, get the blue bubbles. Right. Hello. Trying to subtweet me, Taz? <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Billy just got run over by Nick Camarado. And that's a rare sentence right there, X Cal, but as you know, man. Absolutely. QT Marshall liking what he's seeing. Back elbow. Scott, but you know I pinned Billy Gunn in the middle of the ring on Dynamite, right? I did see that, yes. Uh, not without some assistance, but... Just wanted to make sure you knew that. Yeah. So you pinned Cody Rhodes in the middle of the ring on Dynamite, Man. not without some assistance. Well, it doesn't matter how, right? It just says that I won in the record books. That's all that matters. Lateral press by... Oh, not even a one count by Camarado. See that? And I actually know where the record books are kept. We hear that a lot in pro wrestling record books. They're actually yep. not far from where you are, in really? Parsippany. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's where they kept. Oh, is that where the cloud storage facility is? Yeah, IWCCW, they have them. Boot to the side of the head. Camarado turned inside out. Aaron Solo, blindside Ooh. shot. Hitting the illegal guy. Why? There you go, Camarado. Wow, what a clothesline by the big man. He's got it. I mean, his bench, his flat bench. It, it's 7,000. Is it 7,000? I thought it was like 8,000. 8, All right, no problem. Well, what's 36 plates on each side? 6,700. I like that, yeah. Right hands to the side of the head by Camarado. Seems like he might be a sumo style deadlift guy, too. You know what I mean? Most yeah. people don't even know what the hell that is, but I do. I know you do, QT. You're Jeez. jacked. You, you see great. those trunks I got? Yeah, they look awesome. Yeah. They look awesome. They look ripped. They look like Ridge Park. I'm, I'm doing my thing. Google it. Camarado and Solo working on Colton Gunn. They have him isolated in the factory's corner. Aubrey Edwards doing everything in her power to break Camarado away. And Aaron oh. Solo behind the referee's back. To, to answer your question from earlier, Excalibur. You don't have to hold the mic. I didn't. I did, oh, yeah. That is him, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to apologize at homecoming because when I was on commentary oh. on Elevation, Tony disrespected me again. And this time in Tony Schiavone or Tony Khan? Tony, no. Oh. Tony Khan can disrespect me whenever he wants. <laughs> Neckbreaker. Hook of the near leg by Solo. So Shivani disrespected him. He disrespected me in front of Mr. Crockett. Right. If you guys recall. Of yeah. course. Yeah. And I feel like I'm going to put the apology off till next week. Well, that's your prerogative, wow. sir, and I respect that. Well. Well said, X Cal. Yeah, I guess that's Nice suplex right there by Aaron Solo. Lateral press. No, I was. I, I think you owe that to Tony, but if you want to oh, keep... Oh, give me a prick. What does he owe an apology for? Because he poured soda on his head or water or something? Uh, it was actually protein powder. But it don't yeah. matter. He, 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 Shivani deserves that. He, he's a, Shivani's a rap bastard. Enough with him. And he kind of looked better with it on. He did. Oh. Oh. Things going not low. well for the factory there. And I said rap. As I don't body shame people. Oh, nice power by Colton Gunn in the legs. Up oh, kick God. by Colton Gunn, but Camarado right there. 
Hit him with the sliding lariat. Gun able to kick out, though. Uh, trying to think of the way to say this, but his absence, uh, Mr. Austin Gunn. Austin Gunn, yes. Austin yeah. Gunn, who Well, was that's because of Anthony Gogo. 100%. Yeah. And then Billy, which hasn't been a lot of press on this due to, you know, my current role backstage, but Billy took it upon himself to hurt Anthony Agogo, and you know, again, we try not to show that too many times. Right, yeah. Anthony, who uh, just recently underwent uh, surgery for the injury suffered at the hands of Billy Gunn. Oh. Nick Camarado, he got a whole handful of hair right there, and Camarado taking out Big Bad Daddy on the apron. Billy Gunn got dropped. What do you think Camarado just said to him? He probably just said, "Go, go, 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 la, la." Yep. And Solo understood. Yeah. Camarado. Oh, look. Has, Colton yeah. Gunn. Watch out. Colton Gunn reversing Camarado, driving into the corner. Ducks under. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Big Billy. Billy Gunn laying in the right hands. Oh, wow. What a shot. Camarado knocked from the ring. Solo goes through oh, wow. and gets dropped. Oh, that was a thump. Billy Gunn. Whoa, oh, Nick. My God. Camarado. Impressive. What a power slam. So impressive. Cover. Got him. No, Billy Gunn kicking out. Damn, dude, that was close. QT, that was super close, dude. I told you I didn't like Aubrey. I know. I told you, too. I know. And she don't like me, and I know she don't like you. She told me. Yeah, I know. Green bubbles. Uh-oh. There we go. Watch out. Oh! Billy Gunn just drops kick out. solo. Hooks the far leg, Camarado breaks things up. Good save by Camarado. Watch out, watch out! Oh, what a drop kick by Colton. Tremendous extension on the drop kick by Colton Gunn, but tremendous corkscrew kick. Billy Gunn rolls yeah, whoa, whoa, up. Whoa, whoa, the tights, the tights. He rolled up so tight. Definitely had the tights, dude. Definitely. There are your winners. What the hell is that about? Gun Club. He had the tights. Aubrey knows it, everyone knows it. Just watch the replay. Well, you should we have a replay rule here. You should get some of your clout involved here with this. Here it comes, look. You got look. ripped off, dude. Yes, look, right there. Well, if my telestrator was working, I would have circled this rear end. Yeah, circle target, it, but you're circle right. it. It's right I there. Kidding, Everybody it saw it. Yeah. Every single person saw it. You're right. It's absurd. Can't that believe was... this. That was our match to win. Yes. I'm going to. Thanks for joining I'm... us. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I saw that. I saw that. Thank you. I saw exactly what you did. I saw exactly what you did. Who's the champion? We are. We the champion. No I the champion. We the champion, Sam. Show me the stage. We came to work. Top to hit them where it hurts. Champions coming first. Cause we don't know no second place. I'm the one that set the pace. Roll one and elevate. Celebrate. We've been winning so long. Maintain so strong. Love the Check out this one-on-one -on -one contest coming up right now on Dog Pretty. Peter Avalon goes one-on-one -on -one against Frankie Kazarian. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Carson City, Nevada, weighing 182 pounds, Pretty Peter Avalon. Pretty Peter Avalon returning to action here tonight on AEW Dark with J.D. Drake and Cesar Bononi of the Wingman in his corner. Look at that sequence roll. God, Peter Avalon's got all the goods. That's his yacht, by the way, rare shot of his personal yacht. It's not really a rare shot, it's in his video wall. Oh, it's rare that we show it on. Oh, I saw it. I see. That's what I meant, sir. <laughs> and his opponent. From Yucca Valley, California, weighing 210 pounds, Frankie Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian, the elite hunter. He is hunting the elite wherever they go, whether it's here in AEW, whether it's Impact Wrestling. Frankie Kazarian will go to the ends of the earth to get his hands on the elite. I respect that out of Kazarian, out of Kaz. I do. And he jumped over there and 
you know, uh, did the hunt, they did the elite hunting over there at Impact Wrestling. That was good stuff right there. You never know what Kazarian's gonna do, man. He's a badass. Jazz, do you ever hate anybody that much to go to their workplace just to attack them? I actually did it. Oh, did you? In Indianapolis, but I'll leave that there. Okay. You can do the math. <laughs> but uh, in outside of pro wrestling, uh, yeah, I actually done that. I know a guy who worked at a phone company. That's a long story. I'll tell you one day off offline in the 80s. Collar and elbow tie up. Frank Kazarian not giving an inch. Takes the side headlock. Strong side headlock. He went from that hammerlock right to that side head. Now maybe going top wrist lock. Avalon possibly. Yeah, he's got, Avalon. got that pressure on there. Trying to reverse the pressure, but Kazarian so technically sound. Used Avalon's momentum and then transitioned again into the side headlock. Avalon. Back from, side, uh, from hamlock to side headlock. And oh, oh boy. Kazarian using his power. And as you know, here we go, here we go. Excalibur, as you know, both these men are veterans. They've both been around the block, West Coast guys, but they've been all over the world, man. They both know what they're doing. Certainly have Frank Kazarian with the experience edge over Avalon. And definitely the, uh, the strength advantage as well. He's got that, that vice-like grip on the head of Avalon. Avalon. Avalon not rushing up either. Smart taking his time trying to get out of this hold. And you can see with the, the hand placed, uh, Avalon's hand placed on, on the, the grip, grip. of Kazarian yeah. trying, to, trying to loosen it, trying to do anything he can. You're right, you could, if you could stick a finger between his, uh, Kazarian's fingers maybe, possibly. Now he's got a front head lock. Snapmare action. And back once again into the side headlock. Frank Kazarian taking a very methodical approach to this. I respect it. I mean, I... I, I Whoa! Ooh, man, that was some shoulder block there. Boy, whew, Kazarian just lit up and nailed Peter Avalon. And it's almost like that's uh, that could be why Frank Kazarian let go of that, uh, that headlock because he knew he could come back with that shoulder tackle. I think you're right to get all that momentum. Peter Avalon got some crazy ponytails going on. Taking a moment to collect himself on the outside. Crazy hair, dude. <laughs> yes. Al oh, Avalon about oh. to drop the elbow. Kazarian he missed by a mile. Faked him out, and Kazarian comes in with a leg drop. That didn't miss. Kazarian keeping his eye on the wingman on the outside. Kazarian, the elite hunter, knows something about being outnumbered. Referee Mike Posey telling Kazarian, you gotta get off the man, he's in the corner. And, you know, referee's doing his job. Avalon, oh! Avalon, notice that Kazarian's eyes uh -oh. weren't on him. Oh, sees the opening, Avalon sees the opening. And a drop kick in the corner. Running drop kick in the corner, Avalon. Hooks the far leg, Kazarian kicking out, less than one. Now Avalon, got himself an armbar here. Traditional. Kazarian making his way up to his feet, though. Kazarian neutralizing the pressure on the arm. Breaks the grip of Avalon, chops to the chest. A second one. And Kazarian heads to the ropes, but Whoa. a leg lariat. Beautiful. Avalon hooked the near leg in just a one count. Pretty Piva. Peter Avalon got a lot of height on that leg lariat, man. Big time height. He really caught Kaz on the, on the chin right there. Want to remind fans that AEW Dynamite will make our debut in Cincinnati for the fallout of All Out. Tickets are on sale right now. AEWTIX.com. It's going to be great. Love Cincinnati. I'm love there. Team Taz is loved, beloved throughout Cincinnati, Cleveland region. They love you so much, they gave the football team your colors. They did. They did. There's only one football team in my heart, man. J A G S, baby. Come on. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Back elbow by Kazarian. And the scoop and the slam. Kazarian plants Avalon. Springboard. Oh! And then drops the legs. Great job there. Get it, Kaz. Go for it. Cesar Bononi distracting Mike Posey, helping Peter Avalon stay alive in this matchup. Man, I'll tell you what, if Kaz would have hit Avalon, I'm sorry, would have hit uh, Cesar, man. He would have dropped the big man. Oh, look at that. Avalon got the boots up and had his feet on the ropes, but Kazarian's still able to kick out. Well, good idea, but it didn't work by Avalon. Avalon, maybe looking to hit the martinis. No. 
Kazarian avoids contact. Sends Avalon in. The cross face chicken wing is locked in. If a leg's in and Avalon taps out immediately. No winner of this match, Frankie Kazarian. Yeah, watch those legs went in. Cross face chicken wing was locked in. You gotta tap quick. Can't waste time, man. Hurts a lot. Especially with Avalon returning from injury. Doesn't want to go back out on the shelf. He was forced to tap immediately. Look at that. Kazarian just wrenching the head and neck away from the shoulder. The elite hunter, Frankie Kazarian, still has some work to do. Oh, wow. Elite general manager, huh? The greatest wrestler of all time, getting his hands on his own professional wrestling game where I create the cards. This is my universe. We have a challenger online. What would a layman know about professional wrestling, huh? There is clearly some bugs in the system or something. I'm not, I don't lose. I've got every belt in the universe. How am I losing in this game? Think you have what it takes? Prove it with AEW Elite General Manager. Draft your favorite AEW wrestlers and book your own shows from week to week. Download AEW Elite General Manager, available now on iOS and Android. Taz is on the phone with air traffic control because coming up next in this trio's tag team match, Dante Martin teams up with the Seidel brothers. This is a trios tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, Dante Martin. Joining him, his partners, Matt and Mike Seidel. High flying team here tonight, Taz. Yes, and uh, you know what? There's a history, a little bit of a history between Dante and Matt Seidel as compared to being against each other. But you know what? Sometimes you build that respect amongst each other. Seidel's a veteran as his brother. So, you know, respect towards Dante. Their opponents, the team of Darian Bankson, Vadi Morales, and Aaron Fry. And this trio make their debut. Actually, both trios make their debut here tonight on AEW Dark. Looks like Matt Seidel might start it off for uh, his team here. Yep. Matt Seidel, Matt Seidel. A lot of people don't realize this, Calvin. He's a very intense individual. Even though him and his brother, they love yoga. Non-stop yogurist, okay? Like me. But they're very intense. He's very intense, Matt. Did you say yogurist? Yeah, that's, we, that's what we are called. I see. Those of us who love yoga. Oh, nice, uh, little half an hour. There was a little suplex there. You don't see many matches start out, start off with a half and half suplex. I just thought the match, <laughs> boom, I'll just drop you on your head. Five more carry, that's well done. Well, I mean, <laughs> matches that don't involve Taz. <laughs> I set myself up for that one. <laughs> that's In oh. control of Aaron Fry here, makes the tag out to Mike Seidel. And oh, wow, Mike Seidel. Oh, man, Fry's in trouble, and sure thing, right across the gut. Double stops, flying mare, and Mike Seidel. Standing moonsault press. Good Hook job. Of the far leg. Aaron Fry kicking out. Strong kick out by Aaron Fry. Very, very good right there. Yeah, I told Jawbreaker. About, yeah, that was nice. Kickouts are important, man. If you have a strong kick out, it sends the message to your opponent that this guy's got a lot going for him right now. He's got some power. Look at that. Wow. Split out. Michinoku driver. Vary Morales ran right into that. Yeah, I don't think Vary expected it at all, but it was well done by Mike. Here comes Dante now. Heads up. Dante Martin. Breaks through the Larian attempt, leaping uppercut. Got some mad energy right there. Darian Bankston, and then gets dropped by that shoulder tackle from Dante. Dante, wow. Picture perfect drop kick there. That's a drop kick. He just makes it, it could be a, a drop kick. It looks like a finishing move. That's how good it is. Dante elevates up and over Bankston, drops him down, and now, uh oh. Oh. Dante was headed up to the top. Bankston able to counter it. Hung him out to dry on the top rope, but only got the one count. Yeah, it was a good job by Bankston, though. He was able to stop Dante in his tracks. It was well done. 
Double on the hooks here. Butterfly. Oh, oh wow. Oh! And the roundhouse kick by Dante. From Seidel, Matt Seidel. Great drop kick over the ropes. Takes down Fry, takes down Morales. Boot to the midsection by Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel's not done, my man. Got the inside leg hooked. Almost inside hook. Fisherman's Buster. Hook of the far leg. Bankston, though, kicks out. Good kick out by Bankston. Matt Seidel couldn't get the job done there. Kick to, oh, kick to Fry and Morales. And Dante coming in. Moonsault press takes down Fry and Morales. Great job by Dante. Awesome stuff as usual. Flips over the stunner. And now the Seidel brothers. Oh, no. Combo lightning spiral. Bankston folded in half in the Seidel's. Dante Martin. And Matt Seidel. Now that's a trio's team right there. Buddy. Yeah, the Seidel's and Dante Martin victorious. While Dante waiting for his brother, Darius, to recover from surgery. He's found some pretty good partners, Taz. Sure thing. And I'll tell you what, works really well. What Matt and Mike Seidel does Dante. That was excellent stuff. A tremendous trio's tag team victory for Matt and Mike Seidel and Dante Martin here on Dark. The Murder Hawk monster Lance Archer is coming at you right now. This bout is set for a one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way into the ring from Hearn, Texas. Weighing 273 pounds, he is the IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. Uh oh, oh. He, he is Lance Archer and he has gone right at his opponent, Trey Lamar. And we are joined here at the booth by none other than Jake the Snake Roberts. I appreciate you guys having me, and you know for a fact I won't be here long because <laughs> Lance does not want me to have any airtime. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't want me on this microphone, but I'll just, well, he, he just, just doesn't do it. He just tried to connect that young man's head oh to the microphone, God. to the lens of the camera, yeah. the handheld camera. That's not good. I'm telling you. That's not good. You know, I, during the Moxley match, I made a decision in my life to change, and that was to get my butt away from ringside because I do not want to be hit by a body part that comes disconnected off of some human being. Mm. At is my age, it hurts. Smart, smart, yes, Jake. That's yes. very smart of you, sir. I got to play, <laughs> play it straight, guys. Trey Lamar flying in with a elbow strike, avoids contact. It's oh. a second one on Archer. Don't you know you're just going to piss him off? <laughs> I mean, yeah, the young man's trying oh to do God. something. Oh, but Archer with the oh, pounce! Oh, 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 oh for that title will be none other than the ace of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Hiroshi Tanahashi. That will be taking place in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Cannot wait for that We're one. We're looking forward to it. Lance is, uh, you know, he's made his mark now and he's got what he's wanted. He's not going to be kind of loose now. He's not going to slow down. He's not going to get lazy and rest on it. That's why a lot of champions make their mistakes. That's you know? right. You're right about that. He's, not, he's got a work ethic, man. Yeah, he does. He's an animal, man. Well, and my God. But Lance he's got to deal with that Tanahashi, Jake. That Tanahashi, yeah, he's, him he's, he's, he's the for man. a reason, man. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. And Archer knows yeah. that he, he has firsthand experience. Guy. He loves the fact right. that this guy is the top of his game. Sure, sure. This doesn't look for an easy one. Right. Me, I'm off oh, the easy oh, one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What a right hand. Archer really leaned into that one. <laughs> He's a dentist's dream, isn't he? <laughs> He's a straight to the teeth Dr. Out. Yeah, no, I was... <laughs> yeah. We can go into, we can make some money together. Yeah. Oh. Trey Lamar got the boot up into the face of Lance Archer it's now. Just slow Whoa! Down. Down. Oh, Massive easy, shot. Easy, easy, don't lose him, don't lose him. Just quick hands for such a big man. Yeah. 
Like a fish on a line. Here we go. Mm -mm. Archer Let's set the hook, and here you go. Rings Lamar center of the ring, the blackout, the cover, and it was academic from there. Well, Here's your winner, the murder hawk monster, Lance Archer. I did as much as I could, guys, but you just won't give me no time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Jake, you got uh, you got Big Lance proud to pump the kick ass. He's doing yeah, it. Yeah, he's doing it, man. He's an animal. I'm so proud of him, man. He deserves everything he's doing. And if he, if he hits that blackout on Hiroshi Tanahashi, Lance Archer will retain that IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. He, he will. But Lance Archer victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. The living dead girl, Abaddon, will be in action next here on AEW Dark. This contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Crawling to the ring from the Black Hills, Abaddon! The living dead girl, Abaddon, returning to action here on AEW Dark. Such an intimidating presence. Yeah, if you're new to uh, AEW Dark or AEW program, you've never seen Abaddon. Well, you're in for, I don't want to say a treat, you're in for uh, like a horrific experience. A fright, perhaps. Her opponent from Palm Beach, Florida, Kelsey Heather. Oh, Kelsey Heather doesn't seem too uh, excited about getting in the ring with uh, Abaddon. I can't blame her. And Taz, you used intimidation and psychological warfare to your advantage in your career. Yes, sir. But not quite like Abaddon. No, no, I mean, I mean, for one, you'd be spitting up orange blood. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but no, she does it on just basic, like, physical presence and appearance and her look and everything. And it's just who she is. It's just Abaddon. It's, she's just out there, man. It's just, she's the living dead girl. And anybody that's going to live their life like Abaddon is, you know, there's, they've got a, they're, they're a yeah, little different, definitely, so to speak. She is definitely a little different. And this Heather here, she's about to get those blonde locks ripped out of her, hair, her head. Kelsey Heather turns Abaddon around. Abaddon get cracked across the jaw, kick to the top of the knee. Keep going, don't wait, don't wait. Kelsey Heather. Nice hand, uh, handstand gimmick there. Flip it into the corner. No, no, oh, no. no, no, what are we Taking doing Taking her here? eye off the ball, and she is gonna pay for that. No, 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 no. Abaddon, oh my God. Send Kelsey Heather into the corner now, left and right body shots. Well placed in the rib area, short rib area. And Kelsey Heather, oh, sent through the ropes. I'm not sure if she collided with the post or not, but either she definitely way. Definitely collided with the mat. Yeah, it was, <laughs> on it was, the a, outside. It was a rough landing, and Kelsey Heather, yeah, having a lot of trouble. She's walking like you after some bourbon. Oh! <laughs> It usually only happens once they mix it with a little red wine. Uh, but I digress, Taz. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, man. Abaddon is all over her prey right now. Referee Paul Turner. Oh, God. Give it. Abaddon the count on the outside. How vicious, right? How innovative and vicious. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a, a backdrop on the ring apron, but instead, Kelsey Heather just got driven face first. I mean, that's a... Definitely a dangerous move, but I really like what she did there. Very, very different. And look at this, Abaddon crawling oh, her man. way to her prey. Oh, boy. Not sure Kelsey Heather even realizes it. She doesn't realize how much trouble she's in. Abaddon has the hair. No, Kelsey Heather breaks free. Good job, Kelsey. Oh, those knees. Knees to the midsection. <laughs> Kelsey Heather will die. Well. Maybe you'll be the one that's buried by Abaddon. Oh. Kelsey Heather just got planted. It's a tough landing right there. Tough landing. And Abaddon once again intimidating her opponent. She's going to headbutt her. And then I think Abaddon going to hook the leg. Drive oh. her down into the burial plot. Abaddon covers. Two, three. Here is your winner, 
Abaddon. Well, it's just, uh, she's just dominant. Abaddon just gets it done again. I mean, it's just like we've said before, man. She just has you beat before the bell, the, the bell starts to match. Impossible to prepare for the living dead girl, Abaddon. Victorious once again, and man, that shot on the outside. And then Abaddon planting Kelsey Heather before finishing her off. And Abaddon, as you mentioned, Taz, on a tremendous roll. Victorious once again here tonight on AEW Dark. Check this out, a member of Hardy Family Office, Jorah Joel goes one-on-one -on -one against Orange Cassidy with best friends in his corner. This match is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Punjab, India, weighing 229 pounds, Jorah Joel. Jora Joel with private party in his corner is on a mission to injure Orange Cassidy. Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, Wheeler Yuta, they will team up to take on Matt Hardy and private party. The HFO, all a part of a massive AEW Dynamite from Pittsburgh coming up this Wednesday night, 8 7 Central on TNT. And his opponent from wherever, weighing whatever. Freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy. And Orange Cassidy, Taz, has yeah, had... Oh, yeah, a little snack, what do you got? A little snicker, what do you got going on here? A little chocolate bar, what do we got? Statlander, what's she had? Chris, Chris Statlander snacking after her victory I'm earlier sorry, tonight yeah. over Layla Gray. But I was gonna say, Orange Cassidy has no shortage of, uh... I've never seen somebody eating at Orange like I think it's great, I mean, I... I really do, I think it's awesome. I think there should be more snacking after wrestling matches. I was gonna say, there's no shortage of animosity between the HFO, Orange Cassidy, oh, no and way. his best yeah. friends. No doubt, no doubt, man. Cassidy just threw his jacket at Stantlander. I think. <laughs> that might be that might be where Orange Cassidy draws the line. If you're, if you're eating at ringside. Don't you dare! Yeah, Orange Cassidy doesn't draw the line on many things, but yes. Maybe she's got a little crella there. Maybe it's uh, maybe it looks, actually maybe a little th chicken thighs, or maybe an apple fritter or some chicken thighs. What do you think of this? Okay. Some Chicken nuggets? Could be a lot of things. Maybe it's a cannoli. Oh. Take the cannoli. Take the cannoli. Joel's not having it. Or Joel taking the side headlock. Transitions around into the hammerlock. Orange Cassidy. Or Joel. Trying to show up Orange Cassidy here. Goes to the drop toe hold. Cassidy. The hands in the pockets and escapes the drop toe hold at his leisure. That's the thing, man. Orange Cassidy gets in your brain, man. He rents space in your head by this unorthodox style, but yet you can see how amazing of an athlete he is and a great wrestler he is. I don't care who disagrees with me or not, this guy is not a good wrestler, Orange Cassidy. He's a great wrestler, and that's no overstatement, my friend. Orange Cassidy building up ahead of steam. George Joel drop kick takes Cassidy off of his feet. I wouldn't waste time here, Mr. Joel. I'd stay all over Orange. And Mark Quinn, Isaiah Cassidy of Private Party on the outside, barking instructions. It's really emblematic of Jorah's relationship with HFO at large. They seem to, oh, tremendous power slam by Joel Cover. Just a one count. They really seem to enjoy bossing around George Joel does the Hardy family office. Well, it builds character. You know, I mean, I, I mean, it's just tough love, tough coaching. The world's become very soft. We need more people like Matt Hardy, where he bullies people. Not just my personal opinion. <laughs> I, I don't, my, my opinions are mine, you know. That. Yes, it's, it's, right. Me, the human suplex machine. I mean, you know, it's just it's pro wrestling. You gotta be a little tough, you know? George Joel telling the private party that he's got it. He's got this in hand. But so many people have underestimated Orange Cassidy before. George Joel could become another, but instead he puts on the brakes. Great power shown by Joel. Yeah, good strength for sure. Look at him. You talk about the power of Joel. That was awesome. Brings Orange up, drops him down. I don't know if I'd be posing. I think I'd be going for a pin. I think Hardy, or Private Party's telling him that. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. He wants to do his own stuff. <laughs> you knew a guy like that. I, and you kicked him out of Team Taz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orange! 
Oh! Punch! Orange punch! One, two, three. The winner of this match, freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy. What a victory right there for Orange Cassidy, man. Oof! Jorah Joel took his eye off the ball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Orange Cassidy made him pay for it. You see Chuck Taylor and Wheeler Yuta, even in the odds against Private Party. Yeah, they, they definitely had the back of Orange Cassidy right there. Good thing. There we see the orange punch. Man. Once that happens, buddy, it's all over. Not too many men can take a shot like that. Orange Cassidy, victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. And next Wednesday night, Orange Cassidy, Wheeler Yuta, and Chuck Taylor will team up on Dynamite to take on Matt Hardy and Private Party of the HFO, that big trios tag team match part of Dynamite. And don't forget the historic debut of AEW Rampage, Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central on TNT. We've got a great week of action coming to you starting Wednesday night with Dynamite from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here we go. You got to give the people what they want. Where's Trent when we need him? I miss Trent. Trent. Just recovering from his final two. Okay. <laughs>